All right, hey guys, OFD checking in here on a Wednesday evening, and it's finally time to do the full review of the Seiko, the SBDC 109. This is what I do believe is the Japanese domestic model of the new Seiko Willard, excuse me, reissue watches. Very, very popular right now. I know there's a green domestic version, a black domestic version that really the 151, the domestic version, I can't really tell the difference, guys, between them. Um, I know they've got the 151K1, the 151J1, which I believe they call the international version. This one I purchased from Noman Watches out of Singapore. Uh, I've seen that shopping in Japan is usually carrying the SBDC 109 model also. They're labeling that as JDM. So, Go figure, guys. I honestly, from looking at pictures and whatnot, I, I can't really tell a difference. If you do know a difference between the watches, please leave it down below in the description. Now, I'm going to jump into this watch, but I'm going to tell you guys, you know, stick around to the end because I do have the loom shot, of course, at the end. But I've also got an Uncle Seiko waffle strap here that I'm going to throw the watch on uh, towards the end when we do the wrist shots just so we can check that out. And uh, I'm really excited about that. So let's go ahead and get the watch up here and talk a little bit more about it. And I know everyone has been super, super excited about these reissues because uh, they brought out the original reissue last year, which was running the um, uh, the Seiko, the Grand Seiko movement, the detuned Grand Seiko movement. Those were actually being built right next to Grand Seiko's in the factory, but they were running $4,200, I think, brand new. So not a lot of people were picking those up. Uh, and they sold out quickly, very limited numbers of those. So they sold out quickly. I've seen some for sale on the uh, used market for going close to $3,000. So I think they're getting more affordable. But the 151 and the SBDC 109, those are coming in right around $1,100, $1,200. If you can find them, a little tough to find right now. So it's brought them into a much more affordable price point for a lot of watch buyers out there. And you're getting a lot of watch for the money. First of all, I mean, we, we obviously know that this watch is hearkening back to the original 6105 divers from the 1960s and the 1970s and 80s. Really, really impressive pieces stand on their own. Uh, I do believe these were actually in the 70s and 80s, not in the 60s, but you guys can correct me down there if I'm wrong on that. But really impressive watch. The, the case is so similar. The crown guards are so similar. The indices almost identical. I mean, what really brings it into the modern day is the bracelet, of course, they're using. A lot of the materials they're using on this watch, including the impressive movement that's in the watch. And you can see the Seiko Prospex logo. It's just down there underneath the six o'clock hand. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more about that. But let's go ahead and talk specs, guys. You have a 42.7 millimeter case from side to side on the watch. Really nice size there. Comes in at 46 lug tip to lug tip, so it's going to fit on the wrist. Very nice. I measure a 13.5, slightly over from the bottom of the, the case back to the top of this slightly domed sapphire crystal. And you have a 20 millimeter lug opening in the watch. Bring it up here a little bit closer so you guys can see. You can see these beautifully applied indices, which I did show you guys in the unboxing video. The simple date window over there at three o'clock, no outline on that. Somebody did make a comment that they would have liked to have seen an outline on that. And I think that would have been a kind of a nice addition, but I do think this is really hearkening back to the original. These beautiful, clean, uh, simple baton style hands, which do really harken back to the original designs that Seiko had on their older divers watches in the 1970s. And then, of course, that stoplight style second hand sweeping along there. Now, the movement in this watch is running the 7R35 movement from Seiko. Now, this is a new upgrade to the 6R15. I said 7R35. It was the 6R35 movement. It's an upgrade from the 6R15 movement. The 6R15 movement is a great movement. 24 joules, has a 50 hour power reserve. It is low beat at 21,600 vibrations per hour. But to be honest with you guys, I really find that to be a really clean, usable, workable, uh, you know, rate for a watch to run at. Very, very easy to work on and the watches run forever. They've boosted that power reserve up to 70 hours on the 6R35, which is really impressive. Still a 24 joule watch. Uh, Spron technology, you know, in the mainspring and everything, but very, very impressive movement, a new movement from Seiko. So excited to see that. Taking a look at the case on the watch, you can see what you'd expect. This beautiful, beautiful Zeratsu style finishing along the bottom of the case, coming to this nice bevel on the top, brushing on the top of the case, which is expected from a 6105 style watch. I do believe that the 6105s, to be honest, were all brushed. I don't know if there was any polishing on those back in the day. Could have been, but no signed crown on this watch. Beautiful crown guards in this older classic Seiko style. Drilled lugs on the watch for simple strap changes. The bracelets on the watch are really, really impressive. 20 millimeters at the lugs, tapers down to 18 at the buckle and the clasp assembly. Go ahead and show you this. Very heavy duty uh, safety clasp assembly. Folds over, super strong. 
Um, really one of the nicest Seiko straps I've ever felt. Double push button safety clasp here. You can see the mill work done on the bars inside. Very nice. Solid in-link construction, of course, as you'd expect. Now, since we have it over, we'll look at the case back. Seiko, uh, the tsunami there on the back of the Kanagawa Wave, the Prospects logo down here at the bottom. And, you know, again, guys, I don't see anything specifying this as a JDM model. You do have Japan over here on the bottom of the case back. But, and you know, I don't really see what is identifying this as a JDM model. Interesting because since... Uh, you know, Seiko has started using sapphire crystals. They're definitely identifying that on the back of the case. So the watches are really, really comfortable to wear on the wrist. We'll go ahead and slip this one on my wrist here in just a second, but I want to tell you about the bezel and the crystal. So the bezel is a 120 click bezel on the watch. Very nice. Everything lines up very nicely on this watch. And that's another reason, guys, that I usually go for a JDM model because everything seems to line up on the ones I pick up. Everyone I've picked up from Nomon watches, from shopping in Japan over the years, the JDM models that you buy from these companies usually tend to line up perfectly. Of course, I gotta try on camera really hard, right, to get it to line up, but beautiful, beautiful watches, guys. The other thing I wanna point out to you is the crystal on the watch. They're using a sapphire crystal with AR coating on the underside, but look at this classic bevel right there on the edge of it. It really makes the, the crystal on the watch pop and just give it a lot more a character. I just really, really love what they did with the crystal on these watches. So let's go ahead and pause it for a second. Get this watch on my seven inch wrist. We'll do a strap change and uh, we'll try out that Uncle Seiko waffle strap and then stick around for the loom shot at the end. So here's the watch on the bracelet on my seven inch wrist. They're using the typical pin and collar system from Seiko. You've got the collar in this center pin link area. I want to thank Chris Marshall from Marshall Time. He actually adjusted this watch for me. But Chris, I got to tell you, I actually figured out how to do them myself. So I can I can actually do it. I don't need to be <laughs> babysat for a, a watch strap fix. So looks really, really good. Super comfortable. I didn't mention also, and I want to show you here, the, the hang tags that were on the watch. This is a dia shield protection on this watch, which if you're familiar with Seiko watch, is it's it's almost like a coating over the watch you can actually feel it on there it doesn't affect the shine or anything but it really protects the the um the 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 shine on the watch it'll really keep it looking good and new for years and years to come and then of course here's the hang tag with the information what you'd expect on a jdm model and also i wanted to point out on this one this is interesting this guarantee is valid only in japan i'm in california i've never been to japan so i don't think i'm ever going to need to worry about warranty but it does have the noman watches stamp there and when i bought the watch so it is a assigned you know warranty card um, as you would expect and then this was the Part that was on the bracelet so okay let's go ahead and get the uncle seiko waffle strap on this and then go out the loom shot all right so i love the watch on the bracelet but this looks incredible so this is the uncle seiko i think the classic waffle strap i i bought one of these a couple of years back when they were the original material and they were a lot stiffer this is really nice and flexible super nice looking and you, i'm going to bring it up here closer so you can see that texture that waffle strap texture and something about you know, this style of a strap on a 6105 style watch, it definitely screams apocalypse now. Venting on the back side, so it's going to be really comfortable. You got nice stainless steel hardware here with the Uncle Seiko stamping right there. But really, really nice looking strap. Came in a nice simple packaging. I'll show you here with the Uncle Seiko logo. And he did throw in some uh, some stickers, which are cool. I just bought a new little, little pickup truck for running around town, so I'll throw the stickers on there. And then one of the Uncle Seiko uh, cards there to go with it. But definitely dresses up the SBDC 109. Very fun strap. I don't think I'm going to put it back on the bracelet for a while because it looks so good on here, but let's go ahead and dim the lights and check out the loom on this watch. All right, so this won't be any surprise. I mean, it's glowing right now. I just dim the lights and it's glowing like crazy. So go ahead and hit it with the flashlight here guys this is this is just really an impressive offering from Seiko I think I think if you guys are Seiko fans this is one of those ones it's really really hard to ignore I know it's at a higher price point but you are gaining sapphire crystal you're gaining this new 6R35 movement with a 70 hour power reserve it's just an impressive impressive new watch from Seiko and it it harkens back to the Willard you know the, the original 6105 that we all watched and Loved in the crazy, you know, dark movie apocalypse now. But awesome, awesome watch, guys. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up down there at the bottom. And if you've not subscribed to the OFD channel yet, please do. Please do. Thanks, guys.